What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. Just remember that you're the prize always. Say that, that one more time. Just remember <laughs> that you are the prize. Yes. We've got to stop letting these men buy us cluster diamond rings. Being online and debating what type of ring you wouldn't accept when you ain't got no ring at all. Some of y'all ain't never been a man's girlfriend, let alone been proposed to to be his wife, to be online debating what type of ring you wouldn't accept. You more concerned about the quality of the diamond than the quality of the man that you standing before God to marry. Some of y'all child got the man last name before you did and you somewhere online debating the type of ring that you willing to accept. And some of y'all have babies with the man's last name and y'all still don't have the man's last name. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. My goal was to be very successful on my own as an individual, and that's exactly what I'm doing. A lot of people don't think I have anything because I don't really talk about it, and that's how it's supposed to be. No one is supposed to know what you have. You don't bring anything to the table, remember that. I don't care how successful you are, you don't bring anything to the table. They don't need to know that. Okay, that's your personal goal. That's your business. That's not theirs. But your. You did all the work. You don't share any of the everything. Never stop building yourself in all directions. Now, you might look good, but if your bank account is a negative zero or you only have $500 in there, you know, that's fine. But if you got it all, how much taller would you walk? How much more confident would you be? How much crap would you take from somebody? Does she know that this is a public forum and men are listening to her? Well, let's not get mad at her because after going through the comments, a lot of women were agreeing with her. So instead of getting mad with her, let's follow her advice too. No woman needs to know how much money you have, fellas. You worked hard for everything that you have, just like she did, and you don't owe any of these selfish women out here a thing. Two can play that game. If a man gets his money up, he can find an unselfish wife in another country. Now, I'm sorry, I gotta ask this again. Does she know that we can see her? You know that I can see you? Collagen may do more than simply help turn back the clock on how our skin looks. The latest research suggests it may also assist in building muscle and losing fat when combined with exercise. This is why I highly recommend trying it out for yourself. It is designed to help combat some of the visible effects of aging, bring back a youthful glow, and support healthy weight management. It uses a groundbreaking formula that combines five critically important types of collagen It's sourced from grass-fed, pasteurized, raised cattle in one easy-to-make scoop. Visit healthactright.com, that's healthactright.com, or use my link in the description box below to get 51% off my favorite collagen. Plus, be sure to use the link in the description because every purchase using the link gets a free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, as well as a new e-report titled, The 14 Foods for Amazing Skin Completely Free. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. So someone sent me this on Instagram and I thought that it was a good topic to talk about. So this says, my husband works and I'm a stay at home mom. He is the most unselfish person I know. I handle all the finances and he has never said or acted like it was his money. It's our money. Anyway, he is upset with me because he found out I had a bank account he knew nothing about. I've been making money online and keeping it from him. He says that his problem is not that I've been making money online, but that I kept it from him in the event of a divorce someday. He said that women keeping a stash of hidden money in case the marriage fails is like a man keeping a side chick in case the marriage fails and we both need to be all in or nothing. My mom raised me to have a secret stash that my husband doesn't know about. Is this wrong? Is my husband right? So I looked at that post and I looked at the comments and majority of the women in the comment section were all pretty much saying the same thing. They were all saying something along the lines of what's wrong with her having some money set aside for herself. That is not the point at all. Thank you. It's the fact that it was a secret. She went out of her way to hide it. When you do that, it becomes sneaky. It becomes conniving. That's the problem. When we get married, it's not just you, it's us. And I don't care if she has a separate account. As a matter of fact, 
the same bank accounts that we had before we came into the marriage, we can both keep those. Then we open a joint checking and savings account. That's what we function our marriage through. But keeping an account a secret is a problem and he should be upset. He should be just as upset as most women will get when a man asks her to sign a prenup before they get married. And what do those type of women say? You want me to sign a prenup because you don't trust me and you prepare for a divorce. You starting this out wrong. And so is having a secret bank account. Especially because from what it sounds like she's dealing with a man who is completely transparent whenever it comes to the finances. He's not hiding money from her and is allowing her to manage their money. So why are you hiding something like that from him? Like you're sitting here making money in secret and putting it to the side. It's almost like you're plotting on our divorce. Like I'm 100% in this. So why are you preparing for the worst? But there were a lot of women who didn't understand that. It's not about the money. I guarantee you he could give a about the money. It's the principle. Why are you hiding it? Because if he was keeping a secret like that from you, you would feel some type of way. Wow. But for some reason, there are so many women today who think that they get a free pass to be on bullshit. Like, it don't work like that. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. I need somebody to help me understand if there's something wrong with me. I've been single for so long. When I do look at a man, I find him disgusting. I see, uh, if I see an attractive man, I still look at him and say, well, yeah, he still passes gas and scratches and sweats underneath his testicles and blah, blah, blah. Real quick, having gas is not a man thing. That's a diet thing. What you eat causes gas. So is she trying to say that women don't have gas? Cause I know for a fact they do. And is she trying to say that she don't get funky down there too? Man, your pH balance must be off the hook. And I just look away and shrug like, Ugh. I get the willies, it's like, never mind. Trust me when I tell you, there's some men out there that do the exact same thing when they see you. And then on the other hand, here it comes. I'm tired of being by myself. Then here's your solution. Go to another country and find a man who acts exactly the way you want him to act and will accept you for the way that you are. Oh no, wait a minute. Okay, solution number two. Just get with another woman because evidently you don't get the willy nillies when you see another woman coming. I was accused falsely by some people saying I was sexually uh, harassing them and they were females. Please, I'm not interested in licking. So you don't like men and you don't like women. You're screwed. <laughs> what I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. Black women being evicted, it's a very high rate. Let's talk about a possible reason behind it. From what I've been seeing on the internet, men are saying that it's because black women aren't choosing to date or be with black men. Okay, as a caveat to that, Black women are higher when it comes to domestic violence. So domestic violence in Black family households is at 46%. So the fact that that rate is so high might be a correlation to why Black women are choosing to live alone as opposed to living with their significant other. Another reason why Black women might be choosing to live alone as opposed to just not wanting to be with a Black man is because African-American male homelessness is the highest in the nation out of all the other races. I understand that you're talking about black women being evicted, but according to the statistics, black men are already homeless in most cases. Of course, it's always the man's fault. I was a landlord and the majority of my tenants were black women on Section 8. Section 8 paid 75% of the total rent, which means that if their rent was $1,000, they only had to come up with about $250. How many times did I have to evict these black women because they didn't pay the 25% share? Multiple times. And why was this happening? because of misplaced priorities with money. Spending large amounts of money on weaves and wigs and the cost to sew it in, manicures and pedicures that they could do at home, makeup, clothes, shoes, boots, instead of paying their rent first. I even had one tenant show up for court with a brand new outfit from head to toe with a Prada bag. She hadn't paid her rent, but every time I stopped by that house to fix something, all I saw was name brand clothing in her closet. The black female judge 
Asked her why she hadn't paid her rent, and she came up with all the excuses under the sun. Then the judge asked her, where did you get the money to buy the outfit, plus the Prada bag? And she claimed her boyfriend bought it for her. So the judge said, you should have asked your boyfriend to pay your rent instead of buying your new outfit. You have five days to vacate his property, and if you don't, he can have the sheriff come and put you out. See, let them tell it, the women have nothing to do with it herself. It's always the man that's the root of her problems. Don't believe me? I've seen a lot of women on TikTok saying that it is the black man's fault that black women are being evicted. And uh, that's not the case, okay? The reason um, we are being evicted at, the, at a higher rate is because, um, and don't take big offense, but let's make some changes, is because we're not financially responsible, okay? Uh, we're not prioritizing our bills and allocating our funds correctly. Okay, I had uh, one of my residents told me, she said, I have to pay my more important bills first. Now, unless you're planning on sleeping in your car, your car payment is not the most important bill you have. Everybody might see you driving around in it, but that's not the most important bill that you have. Your rent is the most important bill that you have. And so that's why that needs to be paid first, because in renting, you stay here as long as you pay here. Told you. And here's another quick true story. A female friend of mine, we both were looking for houses at the same time in 2003. The area I was looking in, the house was worth about $250,000 and the houses she was looking for in a different area were worth about $250,000. I paid $120,000 for mine because I bought the house in foreclosure from the bank. She told me about the house that she wanted to buy and asked me to come check it out for her and I did. When I got there, found out they wanted $235,000 for it. Mine was 1,300 square feet. Hers, 2,600 square feet. Keep in mind, we're both single with no children and we're gonna live in these houses alone. I told her, find something a little smaller that costs a little less because she didn't need that big ass mortgage. Of course, she didn't listen and bought it anyway with her hard headed ass. Well, fast forward to today, April the 14th, 2023, the making of this video. And now she's telling me she's about to get foreclosed on. She has been paying that mortgage for 20 years now and she's about to lose the house. So basically, she just gave 20 years of her money away with a mortgage that was somewhere around $1,800 a month. And then had the nerve to ask me if I have something for her to rent. Uh, no, which is another reason why some of these black women are getting evicted, buying too much house, which means too much of a mortgage, and doing it all on one income. By the way, she's a nurse, but she's still about to lose her house. Misplaced priorities with money. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. Ladies, if he mentions Kevin Samuels or the Passport Bros, and if he's, if he's not making fun of them, it's a red flag. Isn't it amazing how they can say stuff like that? But when we say stuff like, if she's overweight, red flag. If she's gaining weight but she doesn't change her diet, red flag. If she dresses provocatively, red flag. If she thinks a man utilizing his passport to go to another country to find a woman he's compatible with is a problem. But if a woman does it, she doesn't see a problem with it, red flag. If she doesn't cook and clean in her own house, she's nasty, red flag. If she says she's not cooking and cleaning in the house when a man is present because it's slavery, but she still expects the man to pay all the bills, red flag. If she tells women to use men for their money, but she tells her son, don't let a woman use him for his money, red flag. If she believes happy wife, happy life, red flag. If she thinks just showing up and looking cute is all it takes to keep a man, red flag. If she couldn't find anything that Kevin Samuel said that she could use to make herself a better companion for the right man, red flag. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. Why do black women have to settle? Like, why do black women have to go half and half? Why do we have to, you know, have something? Why do we have to bring stuff to the table? Because no man in his right mind who brings value to your life is going to take care of a grown woman who doesn't bring or add value to his life. Duh. Why y'all not requiring these other people to have stuff brought to the table? Why y'all not saying this other person got to have all these accolades and have all this stuff on it? Like, why is it just black women that feel like we got to have all these things? Make it make sense. We do require that of other women, especially if they expect us to take care of them. So you think you're supposed to just show up with your red hair, multicolored, overly long fingernails and them butterfly eyelashes and do absolutely nothing, but think you look cute? I see it so much. Us black women we going to college we starting these businesses 
and you want to keep all the money to yourself, just like this chick said earlier in this video. A lot of people don't think I have anything because I don't really talk about it. And that's how it's supposed to be. No one is supposed to know what you have. You don't bring anything to the table. Remember that. Try learning how to cook and clean. Where are these cooking and cleaning women that you speak of? Modern woman says she's not cooking and cleaning. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. I really hate it when men are like, if I'm paying all the bills, then you should at least be cooking and cleaning the house. I should come home to a meal. If you sitting at home all day in your bonnet and you don't have a job, yeah, he should come home to a cook meal. What the hell you been doing all day? If I wasn't here, you would still be paying the bills. <laughs> but he'd have less bills if you weren't there. So I say get rid of her and call it a day. The things that you do that you consider is for our marriage, you would be doing if you were single. You're absolutely right. So dude needs to become single. Okay. When you get benefits from your job, I don't really get those benefits. You do. If I left right here, you would still get those benefits. I wouldn't. Once a man gets married, he adds his wife to his insurance plan. So yes, you do get those benefits. Your check don't come to me. So therefore, I don't give a damn about how much you work. If you're not paying any bills, you're getting this check indirectly because you're living for free, especially if you're not cooking and cleaning. Because you was working before and you're going to be working after you met me. I don't care how much you work. A hard working man is nothing for me because you're going to work hard with or without me. I vote without you. What are you doing for me? Nothing. That's why I don't do nothing for y'all. Keeping a roof over your head, food on the table, clothes on your back, electricity, gas, water. If a man loves me more, if he's too nice, it's not sweet no more. Exactly. It is, Facts. But, but, but it's not. Loving doesn't have to necessarily associate itself with being nice. Like you can love me more, but you're not ever too nice. Mm. I can love you just as much as you love me, but as long as you love me just a little more than I love you, we'll always be good. Women like that make it hard to understand because it don't make sense. None of the shit makes sense. If I'm too nice, it's not love no more. So I gotta be mean? What about if you sick? Ain't, don't that count with sickness and health? If a man can't be himself around you, why is he with you? If a man gotta be emotionally unavailable because that's basically what the, you just said. It made no sense. None of the shit that women get on these podcasts and talk about don't make sense. And this is why, this is why people don't date nowadays. They just hit it and quit it. That's why. Black women are amazing. The shit. Queens. Resilience. Brilliant. We are magic. Absolutely amazing, baby. Forever relevant. Just badass. Powerful. Unstoppable. Black women are everything. Insecure. Irrational. Delusional. Unaccountable. Controlling. Combative. Capable of being great or full of shit based on your character, not your skin color, just like any other woman. Hey, somebody didn't tell you, and I love you, so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video. I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right? My name is Raul. See you in another video. So let me get this straight. Y'all get mad at a man because he wants to split the bills but you'll divorce him and take half of his shit so if you enjoyed this video check out one of these two videos right here i'm sure you enjoy them too and if you like you can visit my channel i have plenty of videos there go ahead don't be scared